everyone. So in this episode, we're going to be getting into some of the nitty gritty fun stuff. We're going to be looking at what you need in a VTubing avatar to have it work correctly with your Rococo mocap setup. So half the battle when it comes to VTubing is just finding and sourcing and designing your avatar. Because not only will you want to make your avatar look the way that you want to, you also want to make sure it has all the capabilities to interact well with your mocap setup or however you're going to be driving that avatar. So in the next episode, we're going to be looking at four softwares that you can use to create avatars that will work with Rococo mocap. Those are Vroid Studio, MetaHuman Creator, Character Creator 3, and Daz 3D. So all of these softwares have different pros and cons, but the thing that they all share is that by using them, you can create a rigged character mesh or avatar that is also equipped with the necessary 52 Apple AR Kit blend shapes for facial motion capture. Most rigged characters you'll find out in the 3D world are not equipped with these blend shapes. Instead, they are just a solid mesh that has been rigged with a skeleton. If you go to Mixamo, for example, and download one of the characters there, you won't find any of these blend shapes. And the same thing for virtually any character or model you find on TurboSquid, CG Trader, or Sketchfab. This is usually the first roadblock that people run into when they're trying to design an avatar for use with a full mocap system for body, face, and hands mocap. And this is a, still a huge bottleneck in the VTubing world. However, when Apple created the Apple AR Kit, they standardized the majority of facial motion capture and made it far more accessible and affordable. The Apple AR Kit is the same system that powers Animojis from Apple and lots of other AR tools and filters that you'll find in Snapchat or Instagram. What the Apple AR Kit does is essentially break down the face into 52 distinct ways that the human face can move. So here we have an avatar in Character Creator 3, which just recently added support for Apple AR Kit blend shapes. And as we move these sliders, you can see the avatar's face moving with the corresponding blend shape. And because the AR Kit is developed by Apple, you can use any iPhone with a true depth camera to access and manipulate these blend shapes. So Rococo facial motion capture is powered using the Apple AR Kit, as is Unreal Live Link Face and a lot of the other facial motion capture solutions you'll find out there that are either affordable or free. Another thing that can kick up the production value for your VTubing avatar is dynamic hair and clothing. So two of the softwares that we're going to be looking at in the next episode, Vroid Studio and MetaHuman Creator, make it really easy to automatically add dynamic hair or clothing into your VTubing avatar. We're not going to go over how to add dynamic hair and clothing to Character Creator 3 or Daz 3D, but we do have a few links in the resource document that will point to tutorials where you can get more information on how to add in that dynamic effect into your VTubing avatar. So in the next episode, we're going to be taking a deep dive into those four software solutions, Vroid Studio, MetaHuman Creator, Character Creator 3, and Daz 3D. It's going to be fun. Come join us.